Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. Today we had the market moving lower here with corn down six and a quarter cents, soybeans down a quarter penny, and Chicago wheat trading down 12 and a quarter cents here. Guys, if you like that iPad app that we just previewed uh, showing the day changes here, go ahead and visit grainhedge.com and you can take a 14 day free trial of that app, see what live quotes are like on your phone. Now let's get into why this market moved here. Of course, corn and soybeans trading lower here here today. We saw corn, a uh, nice reportable sale come out this morning, 157,000 metric tons of corn sold to Mexico for 1415 delivery. Bottom line here, I think what's happening going into the end of the year, seeing some selling pressure here, just kind of evening out uh, as we go into the, the uh, new year. Uh, of course, we only have one more trading day on the 31st tomorrow. Keep in mind, tomorrow is first notice for January soybean, soy oil, and soy meal contracts. You needed to be out of those long positions by the end of the trade day today. So if you aren't out of those, you may be in for a little bit of a surprise here with a delivery uh, requirement here tomorrow. Bottom line, if you have any questions about that, give the, call, uh, the office a call at 877-472-4607. Let's talk a little bit about wheat, which led the market to the downside, down 12 and a quarter today. Take a look at the chart. You'll notice that we fell through that 20-day moving average that we were kind of pausing next to. But there are a few other items here that may provide some support. When you look at the chart, I drew a Fibonacci retracement. Now this is a daily chart here of wheat. And what you'll notice is that this is a Fibonacci retracement. What you're seeing is a 38% retracement at that green line. So the market closed right around that green line, which should provide some support. You'll also notice that that trend line support is also right around where we close today. So just because we broke through that 20 day moving average doesn't necessarily mean uh, that we broke through support and we will see a precipitous drop. I, I think there's a good chance we could see a little bit of support here as we go forward, especially considering the fact that tomorrow we are going to have very, very cold temperatures here throughout um, the, the plains and uh, throughout a lot of the winter wheat growing regions. Take a look at this map here. It shows the minimum temperatures in the forecast and you can see it's going to be very uh, frigid uh, in that northwestern part of Nebraska, the eastern part of Colorado. Uh, you'll notice it's below zero there in Nebraska. Uh, Oklahoma, nine uh, in that panhandle area, northern part of Texas, seven, seven degrees. The bottom line is that this is very cold temperatures. This is going to stress that winter wheat crop. And despite the fact that we have seen uh, some snow cover, and we do have some snow cover, uh, take a look at the observed snow cover here. This should help protect the wheat uh, in, in some of this area, but it still leaves about a third of the winter wheat area here exposed to po potential winter kill. Now that didn't seem to help out the market here this morning. I think for the most part, this has been factored in. I think we're seeing additional selling pressure we certainly had an exaggerated price move following the Russian export curb story, and I think what we're seeing is continued unwinding of that. But tomorrow, we could see a little bit of supportive price action here as these low temperatures actually start affecting uh, this, uh, the plain state and the winter wheat crop. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, give us a call, 877-472. 4607. My general take on the market is we are seeing just some uh, kind of some basically drifting around here as we go into the new year. My feeling is that on January 5th, we're going to come back and we're going to start to get a little bit more direction here as the market focuses on that January 12th WASDE report and stocks report. Stocks is going to be very important. It's going to give us an indication of just how much grain was used for feed. Bottom line, the 12th is a major day. I think when we get back uh, after this sh holiday shortened week here this week, when we get back in the office on the 5th, I think things are going to start uh, to give us a little bit more direction here uh, going into the new year. If you have any questions, give us a call 877-472-4607. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you here Wednesday.